What's up, y'all? So y'all want to hear about my first fight, huh? <laughs> Man, this shit should be called my first ass whooping, cause it was over with like literally that fast. Like I, I, I never, man, boy. Ooh. All right. So I did this Instagram story, or whatever. Y'all voted for this, so I'm gonna try to rush through this real quick, cause I literally have to like go to work like right the hell now, and. I don't get paid enough not to miss any hours, so I gotta get all me, cause I'm like broke as hell. All right, so let's go. Let's take it way, 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 way back to sixth grade. Yup, yup, yup. That's when I got my ass whooped for the first time. Sixth grade, my first fight. We was out there playing kickball. Yeah, kickball. Imagine going home and telling your daddy you got your ass whooped over a kickball game. That's literally what I had to tell my parents, bro. Like, what happened, man? I got my ass whooped over some kickball. But check this out. So I know it was like the end of the year. You know, at the end of the year, teachers get real lazy. They let you go outside for anything. Uh, I got a great papers that y'all go outside. My daughter's sick today. Y'all go outside. Man, it's hot outside. Y'all go outside. They just let you go outside for anything in the end of the year, which was cool. I was like, man, dude, I, I love it. This time of year this is my favorite time of the year. So anyhow, fast forward, we outside and we were playing sixth graders versus fifth graders. Yes, y'all, I got my ass whooped by a fifth grader. So we outside. Now, mind you, I was, I was pretty straight at kickball back in the day, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was, I was, I was solid. I was uh, one of the kids that can kick it on top of the roof. And if you can kick it on the roof back then, automatic home run. Ain't no oh, if and or but about it, bro. If you kick that ball on the roof, it's over with. Like, that was a home run. So anyhow, fast forward, we on deep. I think we on defense or whatever. We tagged this kid out, bro. And it was our turn to go kick. That's the only thing everybody cared about anyhow. Nobody cared about no defense on what you call. We, we want to kick. Man, we threw the ball. Someone threw the ball and tagged this kid out. He's like, yo, yo, let's go. Let's go kick. Man, this dude ran up to me. I'll never forget. This dude ran up to me and said, hell no, this nigga ain't out. And I'll never forget his name, y'all. I will never forget his name. His name Cordell. How can I never forget that? That's my middle name. I guess that means if your first name Cordell, you can beat ass, but your middle name, it don't count. So he rolled up on me. He said, nigga, that nigga ain't out. Now mind y'all, I'm from the east side of Montgomery. This all new to me. I, I ain't used to all this stuff right there, bro. I'm from the east. I stay over there with the white folks. Like I told you, I grew up, I was privileged. I can't even lie. I grew up there with the white folks. This dude rolled up on me and said, that nigga ain't out. He must have used his grandma name, because this dude sound like he's straight from the north. They don't say the north where I'm from. You from the north side of Montgomery. That hey, man, he rolled up and said, that nigga ain't out, bro. What's up? I like, bro, he, he out. Man, he pushed me, bro, pushed me. Now, mind y'all, I'm kicking the ball on the roof. I'm kicking the ball on the roof. I got I got a reputation to man. Oh, I'm pretty cool out there. I said, that nigga is out. Trying to look hard. I don't, you know, I don't know nothing about that at the time, bro. Wait, I was I, I was happy just that I can kick the ball on the roof. I said, that nigga is out. I pushed him back. Why the hell? No, why the fuck? I do that dumb ass shit right there. This dude pushed me back in. He said, nigga, what? Now, nah, I'm gonna let y'all know something right now. If you ain't never been in a fight for, it's signs to look out for that you finna get your ass. Sign number one, it's gonna get eerily quiet around you. Everybody gonna just get quiet as hell. Sign number two, if you notice a circle around you of just folks, you, you getting in that situation. Like if you see a circle of just a sea of folks, everybody quiet and they all staring at you, it's a good chance you finna get your ass whooped. Three, if this nigga push you twice, don't, don't, don't even think about doing anything else. Go ahead and cover your face up. Cause nine times out of 10, that right punch coming. And I didn't know that at the time. This man pushed, he pushed me the second time. And I went back to push him. This nigga punched me across my shit so damn hard. Oh my God. The bottom part of my chin was going this way. The middle part of my face was going this way. Like it's like trying to break itself in half. And the top part of my head going like this. I'm just like, yeah. Now let me tell y'all. If y'all don't know me, I'm gonna tell y'all right now. It was something I was self-conscious about for the longest in my life. I ain't got no eyebrow. My doctor say I got alopecia. Ocean. Hell no. When that nigga punched me, he knocked every follicle out my shit. I'm talking about like literally, I, to this day, I can't even make the same expressions y'all make no more. This dude knocked every damn follicle out my shit. Fast forward anyhow, let's get back to the fight. Now I told y'all it's a circle around me. When that man punched me, I did a whole 360. And I seen everybody face up in that damn circle one by one before I hit the ground. Like everybody face like this. Imagine seeing everybody making the same face as you go down. Down goes Frazier. So I finally hit the ground, bro. And I'm like, bro, that shit just happened. So I'm like stumbling trying to get back up. Cause man, I got a man, I got a reputation to mail. I can't be out there looking soft in front of everybody. So his homeboy, I'm like grabbing anything, trying to stand up. Cause I'm weak. I'm like, I'm like Bambi out there. I barely can stand up. This dude pushed me back into the circle. And when I finally turned back around, 
That boy came back with a right and a left. Ooh. And both of them here, out my face like this, just swinging, swinging. Finally, hit the ground one more time. And I don't know where the hell the teacher be at when all this shit take place, but she finally came. I thought I, I didn't took three hits, and he getting ready to cop back and hit me again. She finally come in there and break it up. And so I was like, hey, hey, that's enough. I'm talking about everybody was in the circle. I believe the teacher was watching too, bro. So I finally get back up. Nah, mind you, I did not get to throw one single punch in this whole fight. It was really just my first ass with me, legit. I didn't get to retaliate. But you know, when your teachers grab, they grabbing everybody and I was like, I'm like, man, let me at him, let me at him, bro. What's up, what's up? Bro, I ain't, I, I really didn't want no more. <laughs> I ain't want no more of that, bro. That man was giving me straight hands, bro. I did not want no more of that. So finally, we walking back to the uh, principal's office. They got us sitting outside. They didn't call the parents up there. And I did it with any real nigga do in that situation, bro. I told the damn truth. I was like, man, shit, they jumped me, man. That boy punched me. I, it felt like I was getting jumped anyhow. He punched me, another dude punched me. I was like, man, bro, I don't know. It felt like about 60 niggas in there beat my ass, bro. The way he was throwing them punches, bro, I, it had to be, bro, because all of them connected. I'm stumbling. And no, ain't no one, ain't no fifth grader punching like that, man. Can't be. But yeah, man, I missed that. Yeah, that was it, bro. I got my ass whooped pretty thoroughly. I don't know what else to say. It was, it was a quick ass whooping, I, I must say myself. Um, he got like, I think he got like three days for that, man. And he didn't get to go on the field trip. <laughs> so who really won? <laughs> but I'm grown now, Cardell, what's up? We can run that jump, bro. For real. Nah, I just fine. Look, bro, it's, that's old news. We grown now. We don't got time to be fine no more. Bro. Anyhow, thank y'all for watching. I tried to make this story quick as possible because I really didn't have a lot of time. I could have went into more detail, but I got to go to work. And it, it's supposed to be Sunday stories. It's already Monday. I'm sick. Mama, I love you. Ta-ta. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. Peace out. Ta-ta. I won't get it while I'm young, young.